Welcome to my lecture online. When you think about it, when you see that little orangey dot in the sky, being Mars of course, and, and realizing how far away it is, to realize that engineers have been able to figure out how to send spacecraft up there, landers and rovers up there, to analyze the soil of Mars and to give back the information so that we can know what the consistency is of that soil. What are the primary constituents of the soil on Mars. Of course, Mars is a big planet and we've only sent a few landers and rovers on the surface to check out specific spots, but by combining the information of the three rovers, Spirit, Opportunity and Curiosity, we've been able to figure out pretty well what the Martian soil is made out of. And here is what it was found. Now notice that we've kind of tried to put it into a relative amount quantity. But notice about the first 47.5% of the Martian soil consists of these particular compounds. And um, it includes aluminum oxide, 9.5%, magne magnesium oxide, 7.5%, and calcium oxide at 7%. So these three already make up close to, uh, let's see, 25% of the Martian soil. Then we have uh, sulfur trioxide and silicon dioxide at 4.5%, which is surprising, but then notice there's a lot of other silicates in the soil because silicon dioxide, of course, is the primary constituent of the Earth's crust, and we would expect the same to, uh, to be the case for Mars. Uh, notice 4% nickel and 3% zinc, which is quite an um, enormous amount when you think that these metals were found to these quantities in the Martian soil. Then we have sodium oxide and ferrous oxide, and notice that uh, then we get down to about a half percent for the next five, which is uh, phosphorus, pentoxide, chlorine, potassium oxide, titanium dioxide, and bromine. And then we found about a quarter percent of manganese oxide and uh, uh, chromium, uh, that is chromic or chronic oxide, I believe they call that. So that makes up about half of the Martian soil. The rest of the soil was made up of 45% uh, silicates, which is what we expect because that's the main constituent of uh, planetary crusts. Um, and then we have 7.5% of other elements in very small quantities that are too small really here to list. But that gives you a pretty good idea and that there's a cross-section of three different sites on the, on the surface of the planet where these were found in those particular quantities. Of course, that's not exactly what we think the crust is made of. We expect a different kind of consistency of the crust, but the loose soil on top of the crust here that was found at these three landing sites contain on average these kind of uh, chemicals and minerals in the soil. So it's a, it's a rich soil. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. Of course, no organic material was found at all. These are all inorganic materials a pretty lifeless planet when it comes to that, but very rich in a wide variety of different elements and minerals can be found on the surface of Mars.